Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Rented Story 1.18.5 modded with myself and the one and only Lady Ericus. Hello. She is on a pie baking rampage. I am. I have tons in my inventory right now. I'm going to starve to death, but <laughs> we got pie. <laughs> what kind of tasty pies are you baking? We're baking cranberry. Ooh, what kind of <clears throat> grain? Um, spelt and cranberry. I just harvested some spelt from up top. And we've got plenty of flax to see us through, but cranberry doesn't give us much food saturation, so flax and cranberry is not a great combination. Next time I'm going to go traveling, I'll have to have you do me up a couple of pies to take with. Of course, yeah. well, probably not the best travel food, huh? Because I think I've got to place it and cut it, and then I can't pick it back up again. Or can I, I, I suppose I could just chop it up into, into pieces and carry the pieces, right? Well, you can place it down, and you can certainly carry it. Yeah, um, what what I was inquiring is once I place it down on the surface and remove some of the the pie, cut some of the pie, can I pick it can. back up again? Yes, you can. Okay, one would certainly expect so, but yeah, no, no. So here is a here's an example. I got half a pie right here, so you can see you can place it down. You don't actually have oh. to put it on a table. You can place it on the ground. Right, right. Excellent. Yep. So no. it is not a problem. Have to get you to bake me some Cornish pasties. So I can do that. I can do vegetable pies. I can do meat pies. Well, I that's... was thinking I would try bush meat and, and parsnip or something like that. Well, that's what I was going to say is if you wanted to do an experiment and mm -hmm. make like, like two or three meat and vegetable pies of some sort. So the sad thing is apparently once I pick an ingredient, I cannot change it over. So I can't do a complete meal. I right. can do meat or um, vegetables, but I can't do meat and Ooh. vegetables, which well, I, well, yeah. that could actually work out good though. You know, you do, you do like a, like a red meat pie and a, uh, you know, like you say, parsnip pie. And I just take one of each with me, you know, and like, keep my nutrition balanced. In fact, pie could become my new way of life because you make me a meat pie, a fruit pie, uh, uh, cheese pie. Like there could be a pie for each of the food groups. Yeah, but then they won't stack in your inventory. Part of a complete yeah. nutritious breakfast. <laughs> Oh, look at all the colors out in the courtyard. So there's a bit of a gap between uh, this episode and um, the previous episode that you guys saw on YouTube because there was a problem in which I had footage with no sound. So mm -hmm. the last three or four hours of playtime that I had recorded... But that's okay because it means I can step through this door and with the... Wow, I really need to screenshot that. What's that? Oh, just stepping outside the door here and the view, the sky is all is all like mauve and things. And with the different plants that you have stepping through the door and just looking out across towards the smithy looking slightly above the smithy wall you will get an amazing view oh amazing oh it was so so striking that i had to I had to screenshot it and i'll probably use it for the the thumbnail for the video i mean that's just gorgeous oh. um my uh indicator that tells me you know that i'm safely recording and things like that overlays the part of my uh hud uh, in the top left corner that tells me what the date is what is the in in game date 
It is the fourteenth of September. Fourteenth of September. Um, we are we are playing with um, thirty days to a month. You know, do some realistic time. Ooh, what you building? Well, I've got to do one croc because I have an odd number down there, and I really don't like that. So. Yeah, that could uh, that could make one crazy. Yeah, I have a shelf that's not filled, but I need to make. Um, I need to make three jugs, so I've got two fired up, so I'm going to do three jugs, and then I'm going to do this one crock, and that'll give me an even number of crocks, and I'll be okay with that again. Well, your mechanical prowess with the, the Wumper Thumper over there that allows us to crush stuff has inspired me to start maybe attempting to push into the Iron Age. Well, I was looking into that for you, actually, and um, I'm I'm kind of excited about our opportunities there, um, and I think it could be an interesting thing for people to see. So, well, the teleporter, the cave that it took me to, has an amazing, amazing deposit of hematite. We've oh. got the meteoric iron that's just out behind the castle in the crater. And um, when I went back to uh, the caves there um, just a short time back, I found a second deposit of hematite. Really? So okay. we're, we're really set for iron. The thing is, is I think I have to hunt down black coal because I know there's this whole coal coke thing but i think that's for doing steel not for doing iron right so i also i was digging into the recycling of a bronze anvil yeah so you can actually do that with a chisel you can hammer and chisel it will yes. cost you your whole hammer and chisel but you can yes yes i had uh, i had intended on doing that once i got an iron anvil going um, and I think might as well, like, do the whole Monty and, uh, actually maybe set up a water wheel with, with, uh, hammering Whomper Stomper. I think that would kind of be pretty cool to do all of that mess. Well, I had this idea, and, um, sorry, I'm following you so I can see what you're doing. Um, oh, I was just checking to make sure I didn't have anything up here that needed immediate attention. Yeah. Well, so, so I, I located, I located, you know, that, that patch of fire clay, so there's plenty of fire clay to do the refractory bricks and stuff, um, and we've got a ridiculous amount of iron ore available to us. And it just doesn't make a lot of sense to have all that. Plus, I know somewhere out there I found uh, a brown coal deposit. Okay. But I, th I think black coal is actually better. But in any event, <laughs> I know charcoal can be used. But um, to start, you know, producing uh, iron... Of course, it's a lot of work, you know, between setting up the whole smelting situation to get the blooms and then having to hammer out the blooms and all of that. But once you have well, the auto hammer, then, you know, yeah. it gets so much easier and making plates becomes much faster and... Um, you know, right now the time it takes me to combine two ingots and make a plate is kind of ridiculous. Um, well, we have pie for breakfast. These are our last two pieces of this pie. And then there's meals down there, but... If you eat a little bit of pie and then have some meal, then you'll be set. Um... Well, I have been panning for clear quartz so that I can seal that other um, that other room down there. 
are the the big um well and and that the big is tower that is the reason the second reason why getting set up to start doing the iron smelting is good is because it allows us to make your real glass well i don't mind the quartz for right now um so well I mean, with with chiseling clear quartz grass glass and the ability to combine bits means the ability to build custom windows Ooh. yeah i shouldn't yeah. have said that out loud but <laughs> yeah you, you probably shouldn't have said that out loud but because you but... know i i can i can take a block of the clear quartz glass I can mm -hmm. chisel it down to the thickness that we want, and then I can replace specific pixels going around it with wood or or something that would give the impression of, like, you know, letting and, like, actually build you. If you can, if we, if we can manage to do colored glass, I can combine together colored glass into stained glass <gasps> windows, and I am so excited by this idea. Oh. But you've wow. always been the one who's been in love with the, the colored glass. And so I would have to depend on your alchemical skills um, well, to produce know, us some colored glass. But I... I, 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 I totally can. But so if we're going to do all of the iron and the steel and the everything, mm -hmm. um, we're going to need a lot of minerals. Because the, like, we, well, I don't know if you want to go all the way to steel. I know you said that that was maybe, eh. but um, for a colored glass, olivine. I've got a, um, an entire stack of 64 olivine. Already? Yes, remember, we when we were clearing out the dungeon, or maybe it's, oh. par well, let me let me uh, go look because we were yeah. cleaning we were cleaning out the dungeon and you opened up that one area and went oh it's a natural cave and I went I'm gonna go check it out and I climbed up there and there was olivine Let's see I've got it stowed away here somewhere it is 33 olivine that I currently have and I know the location so I can get more well it takes. I think four instead of the normal two. But um, I think crushed olivine. Hold on. Um, olivine. Right. So the crushed olivine is an ingredient for the refractory brick. It is. Yes. They've changed that all around. It used to be all you had to do is make bricks out of out of fire clay and so, sl slap yeah. them together and, and put your, your ore and coal in. So, so, so here's the thing. The refractory bricks... Um, Aren't those for steel production rather than iron production? Well, I think so. I think we can still just do the iron bloom with the bloomery, but I'm not sure quite. Um, hold on. Let me, let me, I was, like I said, I was looking into this um, because I, I was looking into the, um, the quartz. Well, I was looking into the, the colored glass and the quartz glass. Now you can, Grass, glass is crafted using the bloomery. However, the stained glass, um, it the you know green glass mm -hmm. is not a problem there. But um, there's the smoky quartz <laughs> glass that we can do now. Okay. Um, and you got to get the little crystals to do that. What little crystals? Yeah. Um, so there's actually little the little crystals that grow. Um Oh, they, that's right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Crystal clusters, the right? Vugs. Yeah, Chris so there's the Vugs. 
things and um those are like uh the crystallized gemstones in a vugs and they are geode looking things yes and that's how you make the smoky quartz stuff um and that's how you do the smoky glass and then uh the purple glass now we don't have to do all of that um but yeah so the um just to just to do the glass we we just um just put the bricks together and do the bloomery and then you know we we know right. yeah how we're kind of doing that so so yeah the the refractory bricks that's that's a higher level thing um mm -hmm. i i should just need a bloomery a chimney yep. and um it's yeah. four fire clay to make a brick and however many bricks to make those so that means yeah. I'm I'm actually good to start. But here here was okay. my here was my my thoughtification. Um so the moat runs around behind the smithy, right? Mm-hmm. And if there was a um channel that came off the moat towards the castle, right? And then took a turn along the wall or whatever, you know, um, then a water wheel, an overshot or undershot water wheel could go in there and mm -hmm. the um, automatic hammer could come through into my smithy. Yeah. So that there was, you know, a hell hammer and, and, you know, all the smithy stuff smithying. Um, yeah. but I don't know how much room that would ultimately take on the inside. It theoretically, not all that much on the inside, but on the outside, of course, it needs, it needs some room, but you know, you've done such a wonderful job at this point of the restoration up to now. The, the inner courtyard looks amazing, especially with the late summer colors and, um, you know, you, we've got the pounder going over there and i mean it, it's just really starting to feel like if i'm gonna truly contribute other than running around and killing things which isn't very exciting because we've got everything set to passive <laughs> um you know i built the thing for the sheepies but it, it didn't meet the practical criteria so that needed to be rebuilt, and you did a gorgeous job on it. But um, other than swinging a hammer and, and swinging a sword, I really haven't contributed much to the whole effort. Made a little leather, but I mean... Oh, oh my. You contribute actually a lot. Oh. You're keeping us fed. I mean, it takes forever for these crops to grow. Without the things you're killing, we would starve. <laughs> Without your death and mayhem, we could not live. <laughs> um, well, so I'm just saying that, you know, it, you, you've done such a good job of sticking with the aesthetics of the castle and continuing to, you know, add more and more things that are really bringing this all to life. Um, the, the work on the tower over there is fantastic. You know, I mean, so if I'm going to do a... Uh, a hammer having it over there in the tower well that's a, a long way to go i mean i've got to set yeah. up a complete smithy over there so well, it's I either i it. i do a sub smithy in the tower or i find a way to bring the automated hammer into the the smithy itself well i would rather you have an automated hammer over here for for dealing with all of that um first of all i think it would be far too complicated to try to hook up a whole second situation to that existing structure over there. That's yeah, just gonna, yeah, we'd have gonna, to we'd have to beef gonna... the the windmill and yeah. uh, add in some extra gearing to allow it to split the energy. Basically, it's one of the large sized gears, but then they they pro the way they produce torque and stuff. Um, we would need, you know, like I say, to beef up the windmill and stuff. So, um, I think that's just a recipe for us to yell at each other a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
yeah, I, I think there's a, I think there's a better way. And it's just you, you just, just absolutely living in that kitty mask. It, it tickles me. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I have it on. Well, I I like <laughs> it. I like it. It's exotic. Ooh, it's exotic. Well, I uh, look a little little like an anime character over here, but. You said you made me some boots. Oh no, I bought you some boots. You bought you yes, you bought me some boots. That's I you. bought you some nice I bought you the squire leather boots. Ooh. And I bought you a tunic. Well, am I just too hot to handle in, in my in my fox well, skin boots or what? Well <laughs> so I thought you would want to save those for the winter time when they're when the warmth is really gonna matter. Yes, actually I was gonna tuck them away and, and find some alternative Right. We had like some so, some slippers around or some some such. Um. So yeah, know what I, if you if you go look at the chest that's beside your bed, that's where um I've put all of that stuff for you. I didn't know I had my own chest. You have your own chest. Oh, it's old and creaky like me. I, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> You really didn't know I ooh, put your own chest in it. Ooh, ooh, I'm I'm all excited. Yes, squire boots and and a squire tunic. And the I can repair that squire shirt so that you have that whole set there. Well, and it gives me a place to uh put you your know, extra stuff. Well, store my armor and things that I don't oh. need to be wearing all the time. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I found out we can make armor stands. I was going to make you an armor stand. I thought that would be cool. Yes, yes. Yeah. That was the other thing that I was that I was going to make. So, let me put my my gains down here in the smithy from my hmm it will my... not it will not allow me to put on the tunic what oh um you maybe have it in the wrong slot well so there's the upper slot and lower slot like coat and shirt and well maybe it goes in the trouser slot that'd be a little bit strange but it does not no. Um, but, I think it goes in the Oh, oh upper wait, body. yeah. Oh yeah, it's considered to be like a a scarf or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've put on the prisoner shackles of love. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, actually, it works very well with with the ensemble. Oh, good. I need to go get my hat, and then I'll I'll catwalk for you. <laughs> Thanks. I think. <laughs> Not sure about that. No baby sheepies yet. No, it's going to take them a while, I think. to get on my last jug so I'm gonna start making the dyes that we need because I need cinnabar my love for your shirt yeah. yeah I need to do a cinnabar hunt 
I've got to figure out what mineral in particular I'm looking for, and I'm not not even certain. Like some of the other minerals, I I have kind of an idea of where they like to live, but cinnabar, I have absolutely no clue. Well, we should be able to figure that out with a little H help. I'm too sexy for these boots. Too sexy for these <laughs> boots. My vest is yellow. I oh. think it looks pretty styly right now. <laughs> the hat makes it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It brings it all together. <gasps> oh. All right, my love. I love you. <laughs> did you really put on the prisoner binds? Oh. Yes, I did. See, there. It adds. <laughs> it adds a nice gray cuff. To the ensemble. Yeah. Uh huh. And make my jug it, now. <laughs> it, it really it brings out my acorn amulet. I didn't realize you had an acorn amulet. Yes. All it takes is some some string and an acorn. Yep. There's a mod that adds in uh, amulets with the seeds of a whole bunch of different trees. It's pretty cool. We've been looking at updating uh, to a newer version. Um, I've just been kind of camping on this version because everything we got works. No chunks of our world are going to suddenly vanish, you know. And Yikes. Yeah, no, we, we definitely don't want chunks of our world to vanish. And so um, I've been very hesitant to update. Uh, one of the viewers did indicate that, that they're running a number of the mods that were running on uh, I think it's 118.13 which I think is the newest version of it but you know I'm just just concerned I don't want to want to have it go to hell in a handbasket so yeah but I've just I've enjoyed just wandering about and observing your day. Well, I am about to do a firing down here for my jugs. Now, I'm making dye and mordant and things like that. And then dyeing the cloth that we have, but I'm prepping in advance because... Um, there's going to come a point in time where I am um, I'm ready to actually do the, all the cloth stuff. Yep. Yeah. Well, I just haven't quite got to it yet. So I am going to check and see how much fire clay I have hidden in here somewhere. Well, I have two stacks and ten back at the back at the ranch over there and I am happy to make you some bricks. Yeah, if I'm oh. if, if I'm going to do this since I'm going to have to do an iron anvil um I'm probably going to want to be set up for at least two bloomeries. Well, I will happily hang out and do some bricks for you. Let's see. So I can take, I can take care of that. Um, and while I've you're mining and stuff. Um, I'm blessedly ahead on coal right now, charcoal, because I had just done a firing. Um, because I would, I would love to get you some real glass going, you know. <laughs> 